How do we know what truth is? That's a big, big, big question. For example, you're looking at this just now, and are you seeing Brad Pitt? How do you know that the camera is not lying? You know, it just doesn't make me look that good. How do we know any kind of truth at all? How do we know when something's delusional? A number of years ago, five years ago, in fact, uh, to this day, I was in hospital and at uh, some point I was so delusional because of the drugs they were giving me that I thought I was the king of Norway, that I thought Gaddafi was chasing me to kill me, and I even wrote at one point, I'd like to see Justin Bieber. Um, you could see that there's an evidence there of being somewhat delusional uh, out of connection with reality. But how do we know what reality is? Well, apparently, we now live in a post-truth environment. Post-truth carries this idea of people who don't agree with us. They haven't made their decisions based on truth. They've just based it made on feeling and emotion. Where does this uh, post-truth idea come from? It's a really fascinating concept. Right now, it's come about because there are people who are really upset about Brexit and about Donald Trump being elected, and who knows, by the time you're watching this, it may be something else. I think for Christians, this is a fantastic opportunity because what's happening is that the chickens are coming home to roost. For decades, people have been taught in universities, there's no such thing as absolute truth. In the words of the Manic Street preachers, this is my truth, tell me yours. But if there's no such thing as absolute truth, then how can you complain about post-truth? If I want to believe that Donald Trump was born in Pakistan, that Obama is really a Russian spy, I've seen it on the internet, why not believe it? So how do we know what the truth is? If you're going to have an absolute truth, it must come from an absolute. And that absolute is God. And that God has revealed himself in Jesus Christ. And here is the key thing for any of you who are Christians and for any of you who are not Christians. Truth is found in a person. We've always said there is such a thing as truth. We haven't said it's our truth. We haven't said we alone have the truth. We haven't accused others of being too emotional. What we've said is this, is that the truth is found in Jesus Christ. And from him come the words of truth. So my barometer, if you like, my straight line by which I measure truth is Christ and his word. I see so much confusion and darkness in the world, but I see the light and the truth of Jesus Christ shining through. And I suggest you take a look.